What's up, guys? This episode is brought to you by D1G Apparel. D1G Apparel is a faith-based clothing company created by yours truly, D number one G. Uh, we got them faith hats. We got them the line of Judah shirts. You know what I'm saying? We got the faith and believe shirts. We got uh, uh, we got them Jesus water shirts. The game over hoodies. And yes, we got them. Uh, uh, we got them believe shoes. That's right. Your boy designed some shoes. Go check it out at d1gapparel.com. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. We are on mute. Up, off mute, right? Yes, we are. Okay. Yep. Is that what it just said right it now? It said that you are okay. off mute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. And you can see us going up there. So we're okay. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. You look handsome as you always. Look beautiful. Thank you. Too beautiful. <laughs> this is very distracting. <laughs> Oh, How am I supposed to concentrate? <laughs> well, you just got to control yourself, babe. <laughs> I am going to put up our logo here real quick. Go oh, yeah, it's fun, huh? Pray for me. Pray for Whoa. <laughs> All right, guys. Yes. Today we are talking about uh, Philip. We are talking about when your blessings catch up to you. Not when you're chasing after your blessings, but when mm. your blessings, you know, there's a point where your blessings catch up to you. That's right. That's you ain't right. got to chase your blessings. That's right. God will bring them to you. Yep. That's right. Amen. Amen. When you seek after God, God will seek after you and chase you down with a blessing. Yep. That's, that's right. what we're talking about. So do us a favor real quick. Share this right now. Somebody's going to get blessed. Uh, people need to get blessed by God. Yes. God is handing out some blessings. God wants to bless your soul, your heart, your mind, your body. Amen. Amen. There's something that, that, that you've been asking God. There's something that you've been seeking after yes. God. And, 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 and God is a provider. Amen. Amen. God yes, is a miracle is. worker. Amen. Yes, he is. Ooh, man, yes, I'm starting. Is. I'm excited Ooh. about this message. All right. Okay. But <laughs> so do get... us a favor, guys. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Hit that share button. Share this with your family, with your friends. If you've got somebody on your mind, just do it. Amen. Do yes. not be stingy with the word. Amen. And uh, let us pray. We're going to yes. pray. Let's do All this. All right. Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you, Father God, for all the blessings that you do pour upon yes, our lives, God. Father yes, God. God. And we thank you that that you're working in our lives in in, in miracle ways, Father God. Yes, and God. Lord, we just ask that everyone be able to open up their ears and their minds and their hearts, Lord God, to be able to receive this word from you today, Father yes, God, and be God. able to get that blessing in their life, Father God. Yes, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you for everything that you do for us all, Lord God, and we just pray miracles over those who need healing, Father God. And, and Lord, we just ask that you just touch their lives, Lord God. You know what they're going through, Father God. You yes, know God. what they need, Father God. So we thank you for what you're about to do. In your precious name, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. All I'm right, excited. guys. I'm Listen, excited. Listen, we're going to go to Acts chapter 8. All right. Acts chapter 8, okay? And, and 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 let me give you a little bit of the rundown here. All right. All right. This is Acts chapter 8, verse 26. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to start it off. Acts chapter 8, verse 26. <laughs> you got to repeat it because some people <laughs> might be flipping through their Bibles and like, what did he say? <laughs> yeah. And so. Acts chapter 8. <laughs> verse 26. It, it'd be nice if we could do like a Sesame Street, you know, like. Oh, yeah. Like, that would be so ah, funny. Ah, ah. <laughs> that Acts was pretty chapter good. Chapter 8. That ah, was ah, pretty ah. good. 
transition. Anyways, <laughs> twenty six. <laughs> well, maybe I why maybe while you're talking, I can type it up here if you. Oh, like. you know what? No. Um. Okay. But you, what you can do is we're gonna share it. So remember, oh, go to the okay. shares the screen. Okay, and we no, have no, it up there that. already. Yep. Okay. Leave that down. Gotcha. No. No. Yep. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yes. So this is what we're talking about, guys. Um, if you have any prayer or any requests like that, uh, drop it in the comments or send us a private message. And uh, um, just don't don't click yeah, it on yet. I, um, I got you. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, send us a private message or whatever. Uh, or drop let it us in know. Comments. Yeah. Yes. You know, and we'll be in prayer with you. Amen. Amen. So here's what's happening. One day, Philip, Philip is a disciple of God. He mm -hmm. is a he 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 works for God. Amen. Yeah. And one day he's just minding his own business. Yeah. And and God tells him, I need you to go to the desert. Mm. Go to the desert. Ain't that ain't that interesting? Yeah. I mean, just within itself, I can preach a whole message within that. Right. <laughs> right. Do you know sometimes God will send you places that doesn't make sense right. just so you can be a blessing? Mm. Ooh. Ooh, I like. That. Right. Yeah. Just so God can can do some work through you. Amen. Things he'll he'll send you places where it doesn't make sense. Yeah. You want me to go to the desert? And he yeah. didn't tell him why. Yeah. He just said, I need you to go to the desert. Mm -hmm. And he said, Okay. Yeah. Now that's obedience. Obedience. Yes. We'll talk about obedience. <laughs> obedience is better than sacrifice, the Bible says. That's right. If you're just obedient, God will use you. God will bless you. Mm. Amen? Amen. Obedience goes a long ways. Yeah. Most of us would have been like, God, why do you want me to go to the desert? Do I really need to go to the desert? Right. Can I do it from here? <laughs> you know, I'm enjoying myself at the beach. I'm at the Holiday Inn. And I mean, I don't know where Philip was, right? He was, <laughs> but he was in the city. He wasn't in the desert. Right. So, right. you know, but yeah. he was doing God's work. So Philip's like, I'll go wherever you send me. Yeah. So he goes to the desert. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> Watch this. Let's go to Acts chapter 8, verse 26. Go ahead. Uh, you want to read it? Um, yeah, I can read it. Some of these words kind of give me, but that's okay. It's all good. Okay, so Acts chapter 8, verse 26. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, Go south to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and on his way, he met an Ethiopian. Uh, I forget how to say his name. Enoch. Enoch. Okay, Enoch. An important official in charge of all the treasury of the Kandak, which, Kandik, mean, yeah. Kandik, which means queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home was sitting in his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. Then Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man reading Isaiah the prophet. Do you understand what you're reading? Philip asked. How can I, he said, unless someone explains it to me. So he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. All right. So here's what's going on, guys. All right. Angel of the Lord. Yep. Came to Philip, right? Yeah. Go south to the road, the desert road. Go yeah. to the de desert road, mm -hmm. right? And then, so he started out, and on his way, he met an Ethiopian, Enoch. Yeah. And Enoch, at those days, let me let me tell you what this man is. Okay. Because and an Enoch is is telling you, uh, and I might be butchering it, okay? But uh, um, what this means is that this man was castrated. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. This man was ca castrated. Okay. And, 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 but let me tell you, and, and I'll get more into it right now okay. in a second. Mm -hmm. Okay. But he's, he's, uh, he's a very high, uh, man, right? Mm -hmm. Because what, what did it say there? That he was an important official in charge of the treasury of the Kandek, yeah. uh, uh, which is, 
which means queen of the Ethiopians. So he was in charge uh, from the queen of the Ethiopians. He was in charge of the treasury. He was in charge of a lot of, exactly. he, he, he was a high ranking. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. right. And so God tells Philip to chase down a, a, a chariot. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Chase down a chariot. You know, <laughs> Philip, because it says here, Philip ran up and caught up with the chariot. Right. Man, that's crazy. Do you know that when you're obedient, there is no limitation to what God can do with you mm. or through you? Amen. Amen. Just think about what happened here. Philip ran like the flash <laughs> and caught up to this chariot. I know the Bible just kind of sims over it, just right. I, if that's a word, right? Sims. Just kind of, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm using that wrong. All right, kids. I don't know. So don't, don't, don't come after that, it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it just, uh, uh, you know, it just goes through it, right? Right. But it's like this dude was running after a chariot. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so there's no limitations when you're obedient to God. That's right. What God can do in your life, what God can do through you, what what, what he can do in everything, right? Yeah, there right. is no limitations when you're obedient to God. That's right. That's right. And so he ran up and he caught up with the chariot and he met this guy. This guy was reading the book of Isaiah, the prophet. He was reading about Jesus. Mm -hmm. And Philip said, do you know what you're reading? Yeah. He said, no, how can I? Unless somebody teaches me. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yep, that's right. This Ethiopian man was an Enoch. And Enoch was a man that had been castrated. His genitals had been mutilated or taken off. That's what it means, guys. All right? Yeah. You go back in history and why they used to do that or what. And, you know, it's, there's a lot of things why or what right. and all this. You know what I'm saying? But this is what this man was. He was castrated. Right. Uh, you know, I don't know if somebody did that to him. I don't know if he did it for himself or whatever happened here. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Isn't it great that God is not a respecter of a person? Hmm. He doesn't care about if you did this to yourself, if, if someone has did this to you, if you messed up your life or somebody had messed up your life or messed up your body, if, if somebody else messed up your body or if you messed up your body, God doesn't care. When he wants to bless you, when he's reaching out to you, he will grab a hold of you and use you for mighty things. Yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Doesn't that yeah. talk about today's age? Yes, it sure does. Yeah. How many people are having uh, uh, sex changes and all these things and, yes. and mutilating their bodies and all kinds of stuff, right? All these things that you do, lips and, you know, and all, noses, everything, right? right? Yeah. Yep. And a lot of preachers and a lot of uh, churches will say, oh, well, you know, they're way too far gone. Well, you're never too far mm. gone for God. God will grab a hold of you. That's right. Yes, he will. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, he will. Because why? Because this man, this this uh, uh, this man was reading the Bible. He was searching after God. Yeah. Because he was searching after God, God sent a blessing towards to run after him. Mm. Man, you might be drinking right now and you might be listening to this word and God is chasing after you. Mm. Right? That's right. Because there's some people, you might be on drugs right now mm. and God is chasing after you right now because you're listening to this word. He's about to change your life. He's about to change your circumstances. Yes. He's about to turn your world upside down all around. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. That's how good God is. He's no respect of a person. He used an obedient man to chase after this person that was that 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 was just seeking God. Mm -hmm. Now I don't know if you are the obedient person that you need to be, or if 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 if, if you're just seeking God. Mm -hmm. Either way, God will use you. Yeah. And God can bless you. Amen. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. 
Okay. I didn't, I didn't think we're going to go there. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I told her, give me, give me one of these just in case. <laughs> yeah, you want to use it? Why didn't they ask me? <laughs> because this, this, this is talking to our next generation here. That's right. This is talking to the next generation that's doing all kinds of uh, uh, unusual things. Right. This is an unusual thing that this man did, right? He, he castrated or they castrated him, whatever. It doesn't say specifically who right. did what. But whatever happened, God says, I still love you. Yes. And I want to use you. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. He ran after this. This Ethiopian, Ethiopian man. When you're seeking after God's word, when you're seeking God's wisdom, when you're praising God, when you're worshiping God, right? He will suddenly bless you. That's right. A blessing will catch up to you. Mm. God will suddenly send people your way. God will suddenly open a door that was closed. God will suddenly change circumstances around. God will suddenly uh, create a breakthrough in your life. God will suddenly, when you're seeking God, God will suddenly change your circumstances. Amen. And you don't have to do the work. That's right. <laughs> to this man, this man was just reading the Bible, trying to understand, asking God for some wisdom. Yeah. And God says, I got you. Amen. I'm going to send someone your way. This message is being sent to you your way. Because you've been asking God. And God says, I got you. But not only that. Not only am I going to break down the word for you. Not only am I going to give you wisdom, give you some understanding. But I'm going to bless you like you've never been blessed before. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Mm, God is good. Come on, somebody. So Philip sits down. This 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 man says, well, come on, yeah. sit with me, teach me. Yeah. Philip says, I can teach you. And this man says, come on, I want to know about Jesus. I want to know about the word of God here. What is Isaiah talking about? And Philip begins to preach to him and tell him about the love of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. how Jesus Christ died for your sins, for my sins, for all of our sins. This per perfect lamb that was sacrificed for our sins upon the cross and that yes. he shed his blood for you yes. and that he forgives you, that you are forgiven yes. if you accept Jesus Christ in your life because yes. Jesus paid the price that we should have prayed, yes. but Jesus paid it all with his life. Yes. He says, no, I got you. I'm going to die for you so that you may go up to heaven yes. if you accept me as your Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Come on. Hallelujah. And so this man, this Ethiopian man, accepts Jesus Christ, and he sees some water. He sees a lake. He sees some water, and he goes, hold on, chariot. He mm -hmm. stopped the chariot. He says, I want to get baptized, Philip. Will you baptize me? Yes. They said, come on. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. Yes. Come on. Hallelujah. And Philip baptizes him right there, right there. Yes. He baptizes him. All Philip was doing is being obedient to God. Yes. All this Ethiopian man was doing was seeking after God. Yes. One getting a bless, one getting a blessing, one being a blessing. Mm. If you've been walking for God a long time, then you should be a blessing to others. Yes, that's right. That's right. If you're barely seeking after God, Believe it that God is about to change your world. Mm. Hallelujah. You tuned into the right thing. Mm. Amen. And so what happens? So Philip baptizes this man. Mm -hmm. And as he finishes baptizing him, God raptures him up. He didn't even walk away. God just says, okay, I need you in another city. And he raptures <laughs> Philip out of there. <laughs> That's what happened. Go read the, the rest of it. That's crazy. <laughs> He's baptizing as he, as, as the Ethiopian man gets done getting baptized, Philip just, woof, <laughs> transported, <laughs> raptured. That's crazy, huh? Yeah. Wow. And he ends up in a different city. Yeah. 
Yeah. And he's like, all right, God, use me again. Let's do this. Yeah, he's on fire for God. See, there is no limitations. <laughs> That's right. On what God can do in your life. That's right. Because Phil Philip could have said, well, how am I going to catch up to that chariot? Yeah. He's like, all right, you want me to catch up to that chariot? You know, I only run at two miles an hour. <laughs> and Jesus, that's fine. Two miles an hour, I'll make it 22. I'll make it 42. I'll make it 52. I'll make it 102 miles an hour. You put in your effort, God puts in his effort. That's right. That's right. Come on. Somebody needed to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Because you're like, oh, well, how am I going to do this, Pastor David? How am I going to get through this? Uh, you don't have to understand it. You just got to believe it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so God raptures Philip out of there. Yeah. He's like, I need you somewhere else because there's some more people we got to talk to. Yeah. This Ethiopian man goes back to Ethiopia. Right. And starts a whole revolution for Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He is transformed. <laughs> he is transformed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Right. He goes back, tells everybody, starts churches, starts discipleship. He go, He's on fire for God. Yeah, that's right. Amen. That's right. You can be like, well, how can God use me? How can God use this man? How can God use me? Yeah. How can God use my wife? That's right. That's right. Who are we to question how what God can use, how he can use it? Who are we to question his authority? That's right. Amen. 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 All we got to do is just believe. Mm. All we got to do is just seek after God. All we got to do is just be obedient to God mm -hmm. and be a blessing to others. Say what God has told you to say, what God has put in your heart. Yes. Be bold like Philip. Say, okay. Be strong like him. Say, okay, God, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Give, give me legs like the flash. Give me wings like an eagle. That's right. Give me wisdom. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 God is good. He can. He will. He can do it. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He can use you. He can use me. That's he right. can use anyone he wants to. Yes. Amen. 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 Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. When your blessings catch up to you. Yes. You don't even have to run after them. They will come and find you. Amen. God will come and seek after you. When you are seeking after God, God will send a blessing to catch up to you. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. I don't think I can preach anymore. I think I've said it all. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to pray. We're going to get out of here. Yes. But understand that God is good. He can and he will and he can use whoever he chooses, whoever he pleases, whatever he wants. He can use you in a mighty way. He can he can do miracles through you. Yes. Just like this man, there was a life changing circumstance. Yeah. There's a life changing circumstance about to happen in your life. Seek after God, pray, praise him, yes. worship him. Yes. Read his word. Yes. God is good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Let's pray. We're going to pray for you. If I don't get your prayer right here, know that I will pray for you. Yes. 
I will respond to you. Yes. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. We want to thank you for everything that you've done, Lord God. Yes. Lord, let us not go out of here void, Lord God. Mm. Let your word penetrate through our hearts, through our minds, through our bodies, to, through our souls, Lord God, that we will not leave here the same, Lord God, yes. that after today, something will change in the mighty name of Jesus. Breakthroughs are about to happen. Miracles are about to happen. Healings are about to yes. happen, Lord God. We thank you. We receive them in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. Yes, you, Lord, we pray for those that are on drugs, Lord God, those yes. that are, 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 are doing things yes. to their own selves, Lord God, those that are in depression, Lord God. Yes. We rebuke that spirit out of yes. you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. We break those chains yes. of bondage yes. right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Those, you, those chains of addictions right yes. now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, heal them, change them right yes. now, Lord God, yes. that they will put that stuff down in the mighty name of Jesus, yes. that it will no longer taste the same, that yes. it will no longer affect them the same, that they will have mm -hmm. nothing to do with it right yes. now. We rebuke all those demonic forces that yes. come against them right now in the yes. mighty name of Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. We call forth blessings and breakthroughs, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Lord God, we thank you for everything that you're doing and everything that you're about to do, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. In your precious name, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Father God. <coughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us today, you guys. We appreciate you guys and your support. And um, please reach out to us. If you guys have any prayer requests or testimonies, Right down here, you guys can reach out to us at davidgomezministries.com. Amen. And just send those over. And uh, Amen. I'm excited to and, see. And uh, you want to put them? Yep. If you guys would like to donate to this ministry, and it, it if you want a partnership with us, uh, you know, if it's a one-time or a monthly, whatever you want to do, that way we we can reach more people. Yes. Amen. Amen. We're, we're constantly trying to figure out ways. There's... There's times that we give, there's times that we do, there's things that yes. we need to get for ministry so yes. we can reach more people. So your gift, if this blesses you and you want to be a blessing, go ahead and give down there yeah. at uh, uh, the cash app, dollar sign, David Gomez Ministries. There you go. Amen. You got so, it. <laughs> uh, thank you for being a blessing. And I, I pray for all those that, yes. that bless us. Uh, that are a blessing, amen, yes. and that will continue to do so. Yes. And if you can't right now, we understand. Yeah, absolutely. Amen. amen. Just absolutely. share, be a blessing by sharing this word yes. with somebody. Amen. 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 Absolutely. That's that's how you can help. Absolutely. Share it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And uh, also, um, you know, I don't have the <clears throat> the websites or anything, but okay. Uh, unless we want to play the little commercials, but um, go check out. Uh, 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 D1G apparel. Yes. Or uh, you, we got some shoes, we got some stuff on there. And, um, you know, I hear a lot of people with health problems, yes. health situations. And it's like, man, just go check out some of this stuff, guys. Yeah. Go check out Let's Fly products, Let's guys. Fly products, guys. Just, d d just go check them out. Mm -hmm. You know, don't take my word for it. Do some research of your own. There's a lot of stuff on there. There's some information on there. There's some articles on there, yeah. um, you know, that uh, that will help you. Amen. And, um, you know, it's it's uh, just go check it yeah. out. guys. Yeah. Just do the research. It's all right there for you. <clears throat> Amen. I made some uh, uh, I made some little commercials. I don't know if they're here. Are they there? Let's see if they're there. We'll see. No, they're not. Uh -huh. OK, no. But uh, go check them out, guys. Okay. Let's fly products. Uh, dot com. And uh, the link, if you just go down to the link that's on this on yes. YouTube or on Facebook, it'll have just click on it and then it'll pop up and you can go to Let's Fly Products. Um, and then uh, I take I take some of that stuff. My wife takes some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. She takes the gummies. I yep. takes the, I take some of the supplements yep. and also the go ahead. Yep. So these are the gummies right here. Yeah. So <laughs> we were just taking yeah. some earlier. Yeah, uh -huh. I just took. I take them every so, morning. So. <laughs> but go check them out, guys. Um, you know, it, it'll bless you. Amen. Amen. So 
Um, <laughs> there's not a lot more that I can say. Just go read it. Go check out the articles. Absolutely. Go do your own research, Amen. you know, like always. Amen. But, you know, it just I, I want you to be healthy. I want you to be good. And uh, I believe God does, too. And then yes. so we got to do our part. You know, of course, we got to take some walks, do little things. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you're not always stressed out and all that stuff. Yeah. Right. But yeah. anyways, God bless you. Go have a, a beautiful day. Yes. Go make the best out of today and be a blessing. Amen. Amen. Until next time. Bye. Bye. Anything? Nope. <laughs> bye. This episode is brought to you by Let's Fly Products. Let's Fly Products is focused on a natural, organic way to help you be the best you and live a healthier life. Guys, go get your lion's mane. I do that. I do the lion's mane. It's a supplement, and it's great for your focus, your mental clarity. It's just great for your brain. It'll give you a brain boost. Uh, I also take the, the chaga. It's good for your health. Um, they also have this thing called cordyceps. Cordyceps is good for working out. Um, they also have some great coffee with a combination of the lion's man and the chaga in it. So it's not just a coffee. It's a healthier coffee with great benefits. So go check them out at letsflyproducts.com.